guys, welcome back to our 2019 special CWA review. Uh, we're checking out some closed cell technology volumes from Xcult Climbing, who's recently uh, moving into the USA market. So we're gonna check out their series. This is the Pafty. Again, I don't know if I'm pronouncing that right, I'm sorry. Uh, this is number 18 on their website. The first one I should mention we checked out that was the uh, Kifla, and that is actually set 21. So if you wanna get your own set, take a look at that on their website. You should definitely check out their website. Um, they've got tons of sets. I think they've got actually up to, looks like at this point, 31 sets of uh, fiberglass volume. So definitely check that out. Um, something that's interesting too, they've got a lot of really cool holds. I was talking with uh, Minko and Spazina about this, and, um, I said, yeah, you, got, you guys have some really cool stuff. You've got some really nice clean shapes. What's the plan for that? Are you guys gonna bring it into the US uh, in terms of polyurethane? And they said, you know, we're really focusing on the volumes and I definitely see why they're doing that. Um, there, at this point in time, there are no plans to bring it into polyurethane. They're actually making them in resin. Um, we may be checking those out later this year, so stay tuned for that. We'll guys show you guys those. Uh, but if you get a chance to look at those on their website, super cool too, super clean shapes. I think they're really neat. Anyways, back to the volume show. Here we go. So this is the third uh, hold in the, uh, in the Pafty series. So a little different than the other ones because it's got a nice scoop. And it's not a rounded scoop. It's more of kind of a, a, very, a very defined edge. So that's pretty cool though. I like it. It's really positive. It's really comfortable. I think that this could definitely be used for just about any type of style of climbing. Um, this one actually does not have a bolt mount. So this is a screw on hold only. But again, with the screw ons, you've got metal washers, so you don't have to worry about busting through that hold. I guess I should probably like not hold it over my face. Looks like I have giant lips right now. Anyways, um, yeah, so. You can definitely get some lifetime out of this hole, which is really, really important when you're using volumes, of course. Um, but you cannot bolt this on. So that's actually something that's kind of different from the other ones that I showed you. Um, definitely think it's gonna be just as good. I think it'll be super strong on the wall. It's got nice points of attachment here, so super cool. All right, let's check out the next one. Okay, this is number 18, or set 18. And this is the second hold in that series. Let's get that open here. All right. Okay, almost got it. Cool. So I'm really interested to see how, um, how their offerings are at CWA this year. Um, as you guys know, unfortunately, I'm not able to attend this year due to personal family medical reasons. Uh, definitely planning on getting out there next year. We'll be making preparations for that probably really soon. So this is the second hold. Um, it's a little bit, a little bit smaller than the other one, just in terms of like how long it is, but really nice, a little bit more positive, a really nice scoop again on this, a nice edge. Um, so very cool. Again, because of just the shape of it. So, and that's definitely something to point out too. So this will, you can't really bolt this on because of the shape. So if you look at the side, your side profile, that's really nice, I like that. So there's no way that you could get a bolt in that without making part of this flat. So in order to take the original shape and keep it kind of integral to what the shaper designed it to be, you can't do that. So this is screw on only, but that's okay because we've got screw on attachment points again at all three corners. We've got metal washers there as well. There's that nice X-Cult logo. So as you can see, super cool. Um, so not only can you set like this and climb like this, but as you guys saw from the profile, this would actually be really usable as well. Kind of a pinchy, slopey edge. So I'm really pumped to get these on the wall. Check them out. We've got one more hold in the series here. Grab that. This is the biggest one. Boom. So we'll get this open. This is number 18, or set 18. This is number three that they sent us. So again, thank you so much to x -Cult Climbing for sending us these, um, shipping us them. They're super cool. We're super excited to check them out and can't wait to get route setting with these, get them on the wall, do a little bit of climbing with them as well. Okay, here's the big kahuna. There we go. Check that out. That's really nice. 
Got a lovely scoop there at the top. Here, there I go, covering my face again. Lovely scoop there at the top. Again, this is not boltable, it's screw on. Um, that was something that was important to Xcall, and I thought it's a really good idea too, is they sent me both volumes that could be bolted on and volumes that can be screwed on. And you can see the quality to both of those. It's just awesome. Um, we've got a very slopey top, check that out. So this would be super fun on like a vert wall or on a slab. Um, really nice shapes, really nice design, really able to force movement, I think, really nicely. And again, um, with the other holds, there is no flange on the outside. It's just the shape of the hole. So your mounting actually occurs at the set screws, which is actually on the hold itself. Um, they're really nice in terms of how those are designed. Uh, we've got, again, a good area where the screw's gonna lay nice and flat. Uh, just really, really good quality. And again, the fiberglass is made from the same companies that you guys know about as far as like Cheetah and Flathold. Actually, Xcall um, produces all of those volumes for them. So again, the only difference is closed cell technology. And that just means again that this is all covered up and in your spare time, it'd be a really nice job. All right, I feel like I just did something blasphemous for Holtz. Anyways, that's cool. So. There we have it. We've got, again, three in this set. We've got four in the other set. Super nice of Xcult to send these to us. Let us check them out. Um, I hope you guys think they're really cool, because I do. And I hope you guys get your own. So, um, especially for your commercial climbing gyms, I mean, these things are gonna be freaking sweet. As the fact you don't have that flange, they're gonna be nice, clean shape, super aesthetic, super sexy for competition climbing. So you've gotta get some of these, you've gotta check them out. Check them out at CWA, we're gonna post you know, pictures of their booth. Uh, we're gonna have an interview with Spasina and possibly Minko as well to discuss their company further. Um, Minko and I chatted just briefly, potentially about looking at some of their resin stuff in the future. So expect to see a lot more for these guys. They are here to stay in the US. So next we're gonna set these down on the ground, gonna get a more up close look at them so you guys can see all the details, all the nice details of these holds. So let us know what you think. Like and subscribe in the, um, in the comments. Leave us messages. Let us know what you think of these holds. Super cool. Um, we'll be bringing you more. We're gonna post some route setting videos to discuss kind of some thoughts behind setting with these. Uh, we're also gonna be setting some climbing problems and you'll probably see us fall a lot. So, all right guys, thanks for tuning in. Talk to you soon. Ladies and gentlemen, presenting the Xcult Closed Cell Technology Fiberglass Volumes. Thanks again, Xcalt, for sending us these. We're going to get an up-close and personal look at these now. So we have fiberglass volumes from set number 21, which is the Kifla series. Um, these are super cool. They've got a nice little lip on them. I actually special requested these volumes. They were originally going to send me some other stuff. And I told them, you know what, I've seen these holds a lot on social media and I've been really, really excited about them. They look like they climb really, really nicely. So Spasina, Spasina hooked it up that um, she was going to send me what I wanted to take a look at. So that's super, super cool. Uh, again, what makes these unique is they can either be bolted on or screwed on. You're seeing that white cap in the middle. So, and it's cool too that they have a cap to so cover it up and make it unusable for climbing. Um, it would be very easy just to, you know, color that red so it fits, just fits with the rest of the hold. I think it looks cool though with the white cap as well. And then as you're seeing at each of the four corners of these holds, we've got set screws um, or metal washers for set screws rather. So we can get these secured to the wall even if you're not going to use a bolt. So super fun, super comfortable, big fiberglass volumes too. And again, what makes them unique is they are actually closed at the back which allows them not to be able having to uh, have a flange at the edges to secure that to the wall, super cool. So then we've got the set number 18 here, the Pafty series. And these are just a little bit different in terms of their shaping. As you can see, they've got that broad kind of edge swoop. It is softened, it's not harsh or anything like that, super comfortable. Um, big variability in size. This is probably the biggest volume they sent me. Again, I'm just going to zoom out so you guys can see that. Um, so really nice, comfortable hold. 
I love the fact that there's this whole other side of the hold too. So getting away from the scoop, you've got just a really nice sloper edge there too. So super um, useful holds in terms of a lot of different uses for them. You can uh, have them one way, flip them upside down, have them more kind of sideways. As a route setter, you can do many, many things with these holds. And they've got the nice X-Cult volume there, or the X-Cult logo, which uh, makes them very identifiable. And these, I think, are really unique, identifiable shapes. If you see these on the wall, you're gonna be like, oh yeah, those are X-Cult, for sure. Um, so, I think they're great. I'm gonna zoom into the logo, and we're just gonna finish it out that way. You guys ready for this? Here we go. X-Cult. All right, guys, stay tuned. So we're going to go ahead and get these up on the wall, get climbing with them, probably use some volumes as well, just some wooden volumes. Um, that's something I should mention also. x has a whole series of wooden volumes. Looks like they're kind of getting into the dual text range as well from what I've heard. Haven't seen those. I've heard um, other route setters that have and they say they're super cool. So eventually uh, you know, you'll definitely get a look at those too. All right, guys. Well, thanks for tuning in. Uh, like and subscribe in the comments, and we will talk to you soon.